Hey, what's up guys? Chris McCarthy here with mcfitmethod.com and this is your mcfit365 workout of the day. Now today's workout is six rounds and it's gonna start off with 12 dumbbell bench press. So I've got a bench back here set up in a flat position and I'm gonna grab two dumbbells. And like I said, we're gonna start off with 12 dumbbell bench press. So I'm gonna grab these dumbbells, get in a seated position here guys, and we're gonna bring them back, I mean all the way back, and we're gonna bring those dumbbells down to the sides of our chest, about 45 degree angle them straight up overhead, opening up those arms all the way at the top, locking out those elbows, and then slowly bringing them back down to position right next to your chest. So all the way up, and then bring them all the way back down. Really focus on that negative, guys. Don't just slam them back down. Press them all the way up, really engaging those chest muscles. We're gonna do a set of 12 of these dumbbell bench press. Once you're completed that, we are then going to grab our dumbbells and in the front rack position, we're gonna do nine front squats. So from this hang position, you can just bring them up into a front rack position. Feet should be a little bit wider than hip width apart. Nice squat stance. And you're gonna squat down until your hips go down below knee level. And you're gonna stand all the way back up. All the way down and then all the way back up. We're gonna do a set of nine of these front squats. Now in this squat position, we wanna make sure, like I said, we wanna have our feet a little bit wider than hip width apart into a nice squat stance. Stance, our toes are tracking out slightly here, guys. And when you go into that squat, you're gonna have these dumbbells in that front rack position. So they're gonna be front heavy. It's gonna to wanna to pull you forward. What we wanna do is making sure that we're keeping that chest up, setting those hips back. And when you squat down, placing all your weight back into your heels so it doesn't pull you forward around your back because all that weight's right up here in the front. So you're gonna go all the way down. Also, when you're in this squat position, make sure your knees are tracking out over your toes. What we don't want is them to cave in and you're squatting down into this position right here. So make sure you're opening up those hips, knees are tracking out your toes. And you can do nine of those dumbbell front squats. Then we're gonna jump up here on the pull-up bar. We're gonna do nine pull-ups. So now I've got a pull-up bar that's mounted to the wall here. You might have one of those, or maybe one of the ones that's mounted into your doorway. As an option, if you're unable to do an unassisted pull-up, you can wrap a band around that, place one foot in that band, and that's gonna give you a little assistance. So, nine pull-ups, we're gonna go ahead and have, or sorry, six pull-ups. We're gonna go ahead and have our hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna jump up on that bar, pull our chin up over that bar, and then all the way back down to a full hang position, then all the way up all the way down. A total of six of those pull-ups. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our jump rope and we're gonna do a set of either 30 double unders or 60 single unders. So grabbing my RX marker jump rope here, guys. Double under is two rotations of that jump rope for every jump. So always maintain proper form here, guys. We're jumping on the balls of our feet. Two rotations for every jump. So you'll do a set of 30 of these double unders. Or like I said, an option here is to do twice as many single unders. So just your basic single jump here, one rotation of that rope for every jump. You're just gonna do twice as many, so you're gonna do 60 of those as an option to the 30 double unders. And then if you choose not to do the jump rope, there is another option in this workout to do 15 up-downs instead of using that jump rope. So an up-down is a less intense version of the burpee. So basically from an upright position here, basically we're just gonna squat down, put our hands on the ground, we're gonna kick our legs back into a plank position, we're then gonna bring our feet forward and then we're gonna stand fully upright. So down, kick your legs back into a plank position here, making sure those hips aren't sagging down, engaging that core, bring your feet back in, and then you're just gonna stand up opening up those hips at the top, chest up, making sure we're not stopping at this point. Make sure you're opening all the way up. So down, out, back in, up. Down, out, back in, up. So you can do 15 of those up-downs as an option to either the 30 double-unders or the 60 single-unders. Once you've completed that, that completes one round of this six-round workout. So to recap really quickly here, guys, we're doing six rounds of the following. We're gonna do 12 dumbbell uh, bench press. We're gonna do nine dumbbell front squats. We're gonna do six pull-ups over there in the pull-up bar. And then we have the option of either the 30 double-unders, the 60 single jumps, or the 15 up-downs for one round. Repeat that for a total of six rounds. So that is your McFit 365 workout of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Good luck. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow for the next workout.